Welcome back to the Trans QX7 series of videos. In the last video, I gave you a uh, overview of this transmitter, showed you all the different menus and options, explained what all the menus do, uh, talked about upcoming videos and what this potentially can do and what we will do, as well as many other things. If you want to check out that last video or any future video, then look in the description. I'll leave you a link to my QX7 playlist. So in this video, before we go any further, the first thing we need to do is set up the sticks. I showed you how you can choose mode 1 or mode 2 through the menu, but the problem is the sticks self-center on both sides. So we, we need to pick and choose one of these and disable the self-centering. And for most of us it's going to be this one on the left which will be throttle for mode 2. But even if you do want to use this one as your throttle, the process is going to be exactly the same. Not only will we disable the self-centering for one of the two sticks, but we will also go ahead and set up the sticks, I guess you could say calibrate it to our liking. Because believe it or not, this may sound silly, sticks set up to your preference will actually increase your flight performance. So let's jump right into it. And this one is actually a lot easier to take apart than the Tyrannus X9D, if you've never taken one of those apart. We're just going to take the back cover off, remove the battery, and we only have four bolts, two here and two here. Once you have all four bolts loose, this back cover just pulls right off, which is also easier than the X9D. So here's my left stick, left side. And when you move the throttle up and down, you will actually see this spring right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. Maybe if I turn it this way. This spring right here is stretching out. So that's the spring that we are dealing with, not any other spring. Because this spring is going to be used for y'all. Now at this point you have one of two options. You can continue to loosen this screw or your other option, and I'm sure some guys will disagree with this, but hey, it's my transmitter. I'm going to do what I want with it. I'm going to remove the spring completely. Now with this spring completely removed, we'll see that the throttle it doesn't quite settle on the bottom, but it's no longer self-centering. And y'all is still untouched. But that's fine, because the next step, you see this bar right here? You see underneath it that black thing that's swinging left and right? We need to lower this bar to where this is actually catching. The screws on this side are already as tight as they're going to get, so we need to tighten both of these screws. Okay, fast forwarding a little bit, I've actually got mine adjusted just how I want it. So like I was saying, this black, uh, I don't even know what you would call it. If you tighten down this one right here, do you see this little V-shaped notch in it? And there's grooves on this side. Then on the other side, this right here is smooth, and so is the black part underneath it. So this is kind of like dually adjustable. I don't know what you would call it. So now my throttle sits right at the bottom, but if I push it up, it stays in place. And the more you screw that screw in, the tighter it's going to get. So just play around with it and then just try it out, see how it feels for you, and then go back and just keep going back and forth. I don't know if you can hear this right here, but that sound is actually coming from this one right here with the V-shape in it, touching the little grooves on, on this thing. So if you want that more gritty feeling, then tighten up the one on the left a little bit more. If you want pressure, but without the gritty feeling, then you can tighten up this one right here that's just smooth. So like I said, uh, just play with both of them and get exactly how you want it. After you've done that, then you can move on to yaw, pitch, and roll. When I move my yaw left and right, we see the spring right here moving. And this is the screw you want to adjust. So just like before, if you loosen this screw, it's going to feel looser. If you tighten it up, then it's going to feel tighter. Okay, now I've got my yaw adjusted. I actually loosened it up from what it was at the default. I like really loose sticks, but maybe you like it a little bit tighter. So play around with it, see what you like. Now for this other side, 
the pitch and roll is going to be exactly the same. Only difference is we are not removing the spring completely because we do want the stick to be self-centering. And because we're not removing that spring completely, uh, well, th this is up to you. If you want for your pitch, which is up and down, you can tighten both of these just like we did on the other side for throttle. Uh, personally, I'm not going to because I, I don't want that extra pressure. Like I said, I like really loose sticks. So I'm not going to mess with this whatsoever. All I'm going to do is loosen this screw right here for this spring, which will be your roll. And then we have, we've got this spring right here, which will be for pitch. So I'm just going to loosen both of these screws. Okay, now I'm completely done. Uh, like I said, I like mine loose, so I got them to where they will barely self-center. And I did actually go back on this side. I really don't like the gritty feeling that this uh, causes once you tighten it up, so I actually backed it off some, and I only tightened it up with this side. So now it still stays wherever I place it, and it has enough you know, pressure on it, but without that gritty feeling. So just go through this. Do it however you want to do it. I'm not, these are not my recommendations. I'm just showing you, you know, how I did it. But don't let anyone tell you that one way of doing this is better than the other. Some guys really like tight sticks and there's nothing wrong with that. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, just put the back cover on, throw those four bolts back in, and you're good to go. Look in the description below for the next video as well as every other video um, that's coming up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.